Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and I'm back at Horror Hands Beach so while I'm here I thought I'd do another beach themed video for you so for this video I thought it would be fun maybe to go through the worst shark movies that I have in my collection these are just some of them anyway uh, I grabbed some before we headed out to the beach and these are the first ones that came to mind. So some of these are kind of so bad, they're mildly entertaining, um, but on the whole, these are just pretty bad. You might want to avoid these ones. So first movie, uh, one of the worst shark films I have in the collection is Blood Bite. And this is uh, one of these that takes place in like a, a underwater research station. Uh, kind of a deep blue sea ripoff, which I, I mentioned this a while ago. I'm kind of seeing more deep blue sea ripoffs rather than jaws ripoffs with these modern shark films. Sort of something that takes place in a research station on or underwater. Um, so this is kind of one of them. It's pretty dull stuff, to be honest. These kind of scientists go and check it out and the sharks break out and it's a bit of a CGI mess, but there's not a lot goes on to be honest. The characters are terrible. The sharks don't look very good. I think it's dubbed as well, and it's not dubbed all that well. So yeah, Blood Bite was not one that I uh, I particularly liked. Next one on the list is Blood in the Water. This one is a mix of Jaws and Saw. So it's this guy. He set up these traps in this in this water, and these people with like a bit of a past. They're all chained up and they have to try and get out of it in like a saw like way but there's a shark in this pool that's going to eat them but it's pretty bad it's pretty boring i don't really like saw that much so it wasn't a great crossover and you you hardly see the shark either even though it's like a cgi shark they never really use it so yeah not a lot going on in this one unfortunately it was a big disappointment okay next up is uh deep blood now this is an Italian one, and I do love my Italian shark movies. They're, they're often uh, rather unintentionally hilarious and really entertaining. Um, but Deep uh, Deep Blood, this one was a bit of a disappointment. This one didn't really have much going on. Uh, so ones like uh, The Last Shark, Cruel Jaws in particular, they were just crazy and highly entertaining. Uh, this one didn't really have a lot going on, so I found this one kind of a bit boring more than anything rather than like the uh, enjoyable cheese fest that these sort of Italian Jaws, Jaws, Jaws exploitation movies are so yeah Deep Blood a little bit disappointing unfortunately next up is uh, one called From the Depths now to be fair to this one it does have a bit of a decent plot this woman is like traumatized from a shark attack so she starts getting like nightmares and visions of uh, sharks attacking her so it can be anywhere like around the house in the street so kind of sets up a few de decent ways to show sharks attacking in places that they wouldn't normally but the problem is the film on the whole is just kind of boring and there's not a lot of substance behind it they had a bit of an interesting idea um, it just wasn't very good, unfortunately. I did like sort of seeing these CGI sharks coming through walls and pavements on the floor, but yeah, not enough here to really give it that sort of wow factor. Uh, it was dull, which was a shame. Okay, next up is uh, Hammerhead, which if I remember, it's Jeffrey Combs on this island and he's got this hammerhead creature which is engineered and he invites these scientists to kind of see it and see what he's doing but it's all scientists that he's got a beef with that he thinks have like done him wrong in the past so he's really got them on false presenters and they get sort of killed off by this hammerhead creature sounds cool but it's i didn't think it was great I, another one i was pretty disappointed with uh, unfortunately just a bit boring i think but yeah that's hammerhead Okay, next up is Jaws 3. Now I know most people cite Jaws 4, Revenge, as the worst one. 
Um, but Jaws Revenge does actually have some, I think, quite entertaining moments and bits that make me laugh. Whereas Jaws 3 is just boring. It's a really boring film. I think out of all of them, you this one has the shark in it the least. It's the worst looking shark of uh, all four movies. It spends way too much time on land uh, following the Brody brothers. They just sort of sit in bars and play that weird game in, in, in the bar and things like that. Really not that great. It's set in SeaWorld, which I think should be a, quite a cool and uh, interesting setting, but I think that only kind of really just hampers it and just means it can't really do much. Uh, so yeah, I've never really been that much of a fan of Jaws 3. It's the worst in the in the franchise, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, not a great one. What we got next? <laughs> okay, next up is Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. One of these uh, over-the-top sci-fi CGI fests. Um, I think this is one, probably one of the, the first my first example of watching these kind of movies and it's a bit of a shock to the system because they are pretty awful and um, this one is kind of fun i can watch it and have fun have a laugh now i know what these kind of movies are about um, but they are terrible i mean they are really bad and this is kind of a the sort of pinnacle of these really bad over the top cgi shark movies uh, so yeah i wanted to include this one if you can handle the awful cgi uh, like i say there is fun to be had but yeah you can't argue it is pretty bad at the same time and i know this one they, they keep showing the same cgi shots of the shark like swimming um they keep showing the same the same clip over and over again i think they might reverse image it a couple of times but it didn't fool me. It's just the same CGI shot over and over again. Um, but you do get the shark attack in the airplane, which, you know, is kind of cool. Okay, next, oh gosh, next up is Shark Exorcist from Wild Eye. And uh, don't be fooled by this awesome artwork. Wild Eye are pretty good at uh, making great artwork in terrible movies. Um, this is one of the worst, I have to say. Shark Exorcist. Um, it's uh, some of the worst CGI I've ever seen, almost like PlayStation 1 graphics, awful acting, very amateurish. I can't actually remember what goes on in the film. Um, you don't see this priest battling a possessed shark or anything like that. It's really, really bad, even for Wild Eye. Uh, this is actually one of the worst on the list, to be honest, maybe the worst, I don't know. But yeah, Shark Exorcist was really bad. Uh, okay, next up, had to include it, had to include Sharknado, uh, maybe the uh, the flagship of bad shark movies. This one, you kind of have to see it to believe it, to be honest. This one is so over the top bad. It is kind of fun in places. It did make me laugh, I'll give it that, but yeah, this is kind of the... Uh, uh, the magnum opus of bad shark movies. You, uh, like I said, I couldn't believe what I was seeing with this one. Uh, so yeah, sharks in a tornado, um, incredibly bad, but I will give it its due. It is quite fun and entertaining. And then last up, what was the last one that I picked off? Okay, last one is Shark Week, which is this guy, he's on like this island and again, a bit like Saw, he sets up these traps in and around the island where people have to go through these, these traps and things, but there's sharks attacking them and, and killing them off one by one. Again, pretty dull stuff, to be honest. And I never quite understood why he would set up these traps and use sharks. I don't know, it seems like a bit of a logistical nightmare, to be honest. But yeah, Shark Week, not great. Um, it's one of these asylum movies, which kind of let you know immediately what it's going to be like in terms of quality uh, yeah i didn't particularly care for this one so yeah so that is just some of the uh terrible shark movies that i have guys that you might want to avoid um let me know what you think of these movies if you've seen any uh, and let me know what uh, what terrible shark films you've seen i'll uh, i'll be sure to uh, avoid them if i can so thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos